Hello everyone and welcome to the Canadian Redneck channel. My name is Dave and today we're going to be comparing a couple of different brands of uh, 223 Bullet. Uh, I have some Cellier and Blow uh, 55 grain soft point and Winchester Super X 55 grain soft point. Uh, I'll get my ballistics uh, gel set up here and we'll get started. I have two blocks here for a total of just over 18 inches of gel. Uh, I'm going to line up, take a shot with the SMB round first, and we'll see how it makes out. And then uh, we'll come back at it with the Winchester round. Alright. Well, dirtied the block up a bit, but we've got full penetration on the block. And definitely a serious cavity from the uh, bullet passing. I see a little bullet fragment in there right about there. Let's full pass through. And went into the second block just at two inches. There. Alright. So the first one went in here. I'm going to put the other one over to the left hand side a little bit. And. Uh, so yeah, shot number two is going to be the Winchester. Okay, came in a little high on that. Knocked off a serious chunk of gel and all the way through but it was high on the second block, so I'm going to have to drop my point of aim just a little bit. That's a better hit. Right there. And all the way through and into the second block. And, yeah, we'll have to do a little cutting to find it and see how deep it penetrated. Okay, and just for visual reference sake, the uh, Winchester is on the near side to the camera. The cellium below is on the side farthest from the camera. Okay, so we'll take a look at this cellium and below shot first. You can see it went in about an inch and a half up from the bottom and it made a pretty impressive cavity it split it right to the bottom and it is wow it's up in there six inches total cavitation there easily and there was yep there's a little piece of a fragment of the projectile right there little lead fragment from it. Now, yeah, that's the cellier and below. The Winchester one, I hit high first and so it opened it up here. The next shot was down two and a half inches. And let's see if we can get a little cross section right here. Yeah, so that's the axis of the shot right there, and you can see it radiated out from that two to three inches all around. It was definitely doing some damage when it went through also. So, really reacted pretty evenly as far as the, the uh, permanent cavity and so on goes. Turn out like this. Winchester on the left, Cellier and Blow on the right. The S and D round came back. 
yeah, two inches into the block. Yeah, total penetration of about 11 and a half inches. That held it. Mushroom nicely, held up pretty well. There is the projectile. A Winchester round. I'm gonna have to do a little cut in here. Total penetration of about ten and a half inches. And that bullet definitely mushroomed around really good. Um, I don't have a scale so I can't do it for sure, but yeah, there's more of the base of the cellium blow around held together it's a quarter inch of the base holding together there with the jacket this mushroomed all the way back pretty well to the base uh, I would say the cellium blow retained a little more weight but both would do quite an adequate job for hunting that was my head-to-head -head comparison between the cellium blow and the Winchester Super X uh, I'd say they performed Fairly equally, uh, the Cellian Blow uh, edged out a little bit on penetration and weight retention. Either one would make a fine hunting round. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it uh, useful, informative. Uh, please uh, like, subscribe, follow, uh, leave comments in the comment section below. Have a great day.